Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Lumatop. This is the Tool AAA. This is a single AAA powered everyday carry flashlight. I got this off Amazon for a total of $15.99 and I'm pretty impressed with it. So let's check it out. Comes in a simple white box with a little bunny. Gotta love it. EDC flashlight. Tool AAA. Loving that. Back, anything important? It's got their address, phone number, uh, quality control pads. It does come sealed, which is nice. So let's go ahead and open this up, see what we get in the box. All right, some goodies. Let's go ahead and pull them out and we'll go over them in a second. And it looks like the flashlight here. Let's turn that out. Okay, you got a little foam insert. Holds everything nice and it's really neat to see. Let's get this out of here. Underneath there is our manual. Okay, that's the box empty. All right, so first things first, what do we get in the box? We get a little like carabiner style clip. Clips right to your keychain for a quick uh, release. That's nice. And of course, a key ring to attach it to the flashlight. That's pretty heavy duty. Uh, I've seen some pretty weak hardware. That's nice. Uh, next, uh, we get a couple O-rings. You have an O-ring on the back cap, and there's a front cap. I'll show it to you. Uh, that's nice to give you extras in case yours uh, dry out. There you are. A diffuser uh, cap for the top of the flashlight. This fits right here. And we turn the flashlight on. It diffuses it. It has like a little mini lantern mode. And of course, this, when you turn it off, this glows in the dark, which is really nice. Okay, and then we have our manual. <laughs> Tool, AAA. Uh, it's like three different languages. Let's see what language I got. English. All right, cool. So I'll just hold the camera. I'm going to go over some of those features there. And if I miss anything, uh, waterproof IP68 water underwater for two meters for 30 minutes. That's not bad. And there you go. Operation. We'll talk about that. Battery usage. They recommend uh, alkaline. Uh, I recommend you use nickel metal hydride. Uh, it may not run as long, but uh, it'll not leak inside. <laughs> That's a problem that most flashlights have, as we know. And then over here we have our foreign language. It looks like, okay, here's your warranty, and then there's your foreign language. Okay, so pretty simple. That's all you get. <laughs> all right, now let's get to the flashlight, the little guy. <laughs> it's the baby tool. I love it. So so dinky and tiny. <laughs> let's bring it on down even closer. All right, so let's go over dimensions. And we'll do a little size comparison of this little guy. Um, we're three inches and one eighth. Uh, length and we have a diameter of 9 sixteenths of an inch so just over a half inch in diameter gotta love it so pretty much three by half inch nice um, weight this weighs about 13 and a half grams without the battery so it's very lightweight uh, gotta love that and then let's go ahead and do a little size comparison here so we got Lumatop tool AAA in the middle let's bring a little AAA battery in there you go I use these EBL high capacities these are really nice batteries by the way um, we have the stream light, micro stream. This is a AAA powered flashlight. Uh, I'll use it for comparisons because it just works out that way. It's nice. It has a tail switch just like that one does. I have an inexpensive Hattori, which I did a review on, which I uh, don't recommend, but I'm just using it for size comparison. And this also has a tail switch. It's just not multi mode. Uh, this isn't multi mode, but that is. And then we have a AA battery. There you go for size. And now let's bring in the big brother. This is always a good one. Let's go ahead and bring in the slide these over. And we have the big brother, the Lumatop Tool AA. So you can see the difference in size on those. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> the baby and the big boy, big guns. <laughs> and this is actually pretty small. Uh, so it's neat to, need to be reviewing this. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about features of the Lumatop Tool AAA. We'll stay zoomed in, I guess. On the front, you can see it's got, uh, on the edge there, it looks like a greenish O-ring, and that's a, a glow-in-the-dark O-ring. So when you're on the light, that's like their signature item. Turn the light off, you'll have a glow-in-the-dark ring sometimes. You'll be able to identify your flashlight in the dark if you drop it. So that's kind of nice. On the front there, we have a diffused lens with a hexagonal pattern. I don't know if I can get that zoomed in enough to see. There you go. It's kind of beaded, and you can see how it has that kind of hexagonal shape there. Yeah, probably, yeah, you can probably see that. Uh, also, the optics underneath that lens, uh, it's TIR, Total Internal Reflection. So you get a nice broad beam. It's nice, nice and balanced. 
The LED, not much information on the LED down there. They're saying it's an Osram branded LED. I believe it's a cool white to neutral white, around 5,000 Kelvin. They rate the LED life at 50,000 hours. It's about average. Um, on the front here, uh, it's a twist head. So there's an option for magnetic base. So you can actually actuate the flashlight by twisting the, the front head here, which is actually kind of nice. So if you don't want to use a tail switch, you can use the front as the switch. Um, again, if you're using a magnetic uh, base, which is optional. I really wish they would include it for the price. Um, they should. I mean, I don't know why they don't. But that's that. And you have your different modes there, which we'll talk about in a moment. The uh, casing is aluminum alloy. Of course, they say aircraft grade. I'm sure it's 6061 um, aluminum alloy. Got our little serial number there. If I get that to focus, probably not. And then we have our little logo. Um, this is, they say it's a painted finish. Um, it looks anodized. Uh, it really does, but they say it's a painted finish, so we'll go with what they say, a painted finish. Um, I'm thinking it's pretty good. Here we have a reversible uh, belt clip, hat clip. So if you look, there's two positions on the light. Here's the belt mode, and there's the hat clip mode. See the little notch here? You just switch it. So that's pretty nice, like that. And of course, I like this knurling on all three parts, the body, the front, and the back. That's kind of nice there. Uh, let's see, going to the tail switch, that's how you actuate it. Uh, it's clicky. Kind of loud, so if you're trying to be sneaky, ain't gonna happen. <laughs> if you got the stream light micro stream, you can be sneaky with this one, it doesn't have to click to turn on, you can just momentarily press it. That's its strong point on the stream light, even though it's only one mode, it's not super bright like this little guy is. This one gets some brightness going. Um, what else we got here? So, tail switch is clicky on off, there's no momentary mode, but it does remember last setting. So, you have three modes you have a high, a medium, a low. It tends to cycle. From high to low. So if you're in medium, and when it remembers medium and you go to hit the next mode, um, it'll go to low and then go to high. If you're on high, it'll go to medium. So, And if you're on low, of course, it goes to high. So that's the cycle. That's how that works. Real simple. Talk about the IP68 waterproof, 2 meter, 30 minute, inver 30 minute immersion. That's pretty nice. Uh, it has a 1.5 meter drop resistance. Yeah, I imagine a little light like this would be hard to break dropping it. <laughs> you're not going to hurt it. Uh, working voltage, it says it's 0.9 volts to 1.5 volts, so it can handle a nickel metal hydride battery no problem. I don't see an issue there. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this down. Let's go in the garage. I took some pictures of this light in action, and let's look at those right now. So I'm standing in the garage, 15 feet away from the garage door. The light's on high. This is 110 lumens. Expect it to run 30 minutes at this setting. It says a 37 meter throw. You'll probably not use this often, but it's nice to have. The next mode is medium. This is 32 lumens. This is probably the one you're going to use most often. It's the one I like the best. And this will run about four hours. That's a good runtime when you compare it to the micro stream. The micro streams, I think, uh, 45 lumens for two and a quarter hours. And this last picture, or actually not the last picture, second to last picture, it's on low. This is five lumens. You can barely make out the door there. I believe it's almost like a two and a half lumen. Five lumens you'd expect to be just a little brighter. They'll say this will run for 36 hours. Three, six. Yeah, that's a long time. And the final picture, uh, this one I was suggested by a viewer. I take a picture of a pointing at a close distance. This is about five feet away from a car wheel. So you get an idea how it illuminates, like if you're trying to change a, a tire or somebody's holding the light for you, what well, you can expect. And that's on high at 110 lumens. So it's a pretty neat setup. I like it. So let's go back to the table. So Lumatop. So we're going to do a little demo. We're going to put a battery in here. So let's open this up. And what I like, what I saw here is that the aluminum seemed pretty strong. It's got a little thicker design. I've seen them where they're really thin. So this is nice to see a little thicker design there. Drop in our rechargeable. I'll show you really quick how it actuates. Okay, so it's on. We'll turn it off. So you can turn it on here and cycle it by just tapping the tail. So high, medium, low, okay? And also you can use this front, turn it off. Turn it on and cycle it by twisting the front cap. As you can see, I am cycling it by just turning the whole body, but you can do it by this too. So, neat setup. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the tail switch to actuate it. And we're gonna do a little demo. I wanna bring this up here and I'm gonna run it uh, with the stream light just to show you a different beam pattern and the color temperature. And I'm going to bring in Iron Man. He's a man with a master plan. He can do it like no one can. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, size comparison for the Iron Man. Da -da -da -da. 
Yeah, I can fit a few of those in there. That's nice. Look how small that little guy is. Wow. <laughs> All right. Let me turn the lights off. We'll do a little uh, demo here, and then we'll do final thoughts on this little flashlight. I'll go ahead and turn this off. Yeah, better, you know what? Turn this on. I'm blind, right? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Set the mode. Let's go to medium. That's what I'm going to be using. Medium's a good mode. 32 lumens, 4 hours. I like that. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Uh, so let's show the diffuser cat. So there we go, lantern mode. It's actually kind of nice. I like this. Yeah, you can read by that. You can direct the light better. Um, diffuses. You can light up an area better. It won't tail stand unless you have the magnetic base. So that would be good if it had a mag base. Darn it, guys. It had the mag base. Uh, and of course, we turn the light off. It should glow in the dark. There we go. That's pretty cool. Wow, it lights up. You can read by that. <laughs> Get your night vision going. All right, let's turn that back on. Remember last setting? That was nice. We're still on medium. Okay, so yeah, let's show the different modes. I'm going to aim at the ceiling. So right now we're medium. We're going to go to low. Can't see much. High, there's our 110 lumens pointing at the ceiling. And we'll go back to low. This is low. This is that 5 lumen setting. I have a feeling it's just a little dimmer than that. Maybe 3 lumens. Uh, that gives you an idea. But running 36 hours, that's really nice. I'm liking that a lot. And of course, uh, goes to high and then medium low high so high is 110 and then 32 and then five so let's go back to 32 and then we're going to go ahead and bring the stream light in this will be my left hand i'm going to turn it on and we're going to bring them in together you can see at the same height the uh, the the tool triple a has a nice broad beam look at that just amazing uh the stream light has this really sharp beam so you can see i can bring it down there Bringing them up at the same distance off the table. Yeah, big difference. This makes a great inspection light here. Bringing them back in. Get the idea. On a, yeah, just a better area. This has more throw, of course. But uh, for a little AAA, you don't need a lot of throw. You're pretty much just inspecting a close area. So there you go. And color temperature, it looks similar in person. I would say they're, yeah, about the same. So let's go ahead and... Turn the lights back on and do some final thoughts on the tool, Triple A, yeah. Loving it. You know, I love its big brother, too. I've been using that one quite a bit. It's one of my go-to ones. I got a white one now, too, which is pretty sharp if you're a collector. Now let's go ahead and turn that off there. Yeah, so the so it's pretty much the pricing. I've seen this flashlight here, almost the same price as this one. So you got to wonder, you know, why would you want this when you could have this? which is nice because you can use a AA battery or you can use a 14500 cell and get extra output. Um, why you'd want the little AAA? It's all about size. It's if you want super compact everyday carry on a keychain, you don't want something too cumbersome. Um, that's why you'd pick a AAA powered flashlight. I tend to like these because they're a little less expensive, but lately I'm finding the prices being very similar to their AA counterparts. So it's all preference there. Um, you can buy a kit. I think they have one with the mag base and the rechargeable battery for this one um, for 25 bucks. Again, this was $16. I think this original one's around $17 or $18. So a dollar or two more gets you that bigger flashlight if that's what you want. As you can see, it's got a normal reflector design and uh, definitely has better capacity and brighter modes. But uh, again, you might just want something small and pocket friendly. I want to pick this guy. There's not many tail switch uh, lights out there, and I tend to like these, you know, like... Uh, my stream light. This is my go-to light. I use it every day because the lumen's perfect. 45 lumens is all I need. And I use this one. This one has a normal reflect reflector too, as you saw. It's got that high spot. But I might switch to something like this because um, one, it's smaller. Um, two, I like the, the balance beam. is a lot nicer on it than, than this light. Just, this is too pinpoint. This is better if I'm working on something like a computer, looking inside something. This would be the better choice. So there it is, the tool. Uh, AAA, hope you enjoyed this presentation of this light. I really like these AAA power flashlights, as you guys know. Um, so if you enjoyed this, uh, please give a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you enjoy Lumatop brand, which I do, and you want to see more reviews and comparisons and videos, just hit subscribe at the bell icon get notified of those videos. I try to put a flashlight video out every so often. I may try every other week or every week. We'll see how it goes. And, of course, three, comment down below. We think about the Lumatop tool AAA. Would this be in your price range? Is this something you'd consider, knowing that you can get 
a bigger flashlight like this, you know, for about almost the same price. Um, or you might want to get just something like this, like a stream light, one single mode with a momentary on, which, you know, it has its advantages. You don't have to click it, don't have to make any noise at night. You know, it's really nice. Um, this one here, you have to pretty much click it, unless you're using a twist head. You know what? I didn't let's turn it on. So if you're using a twist head, I guess you could turn this flashlight on. Let's see, wait, I turn that on. No, nope, I loosened the tail by accident. Okay, you could. I guess you could operate that quietly. Yeah, so you this has a this can operate quietly also. You just have to turn the, the front head on it. So there it is. <laughs> All right, so I had to show that to you. Pretty cool. The Lumatop Tool AAA. Glad you guys were here to see that video. All right. <laughs> guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next.